Hi all, in this tutorial we will see how we can uh, show a context menu in Jack Bay Calendar. Hi, so let's get into it. Um, you saw in the intro how I was displaying a custom context menu. A context menu is basically a menu which is supposed to be shown when we right click. So by default <coughs> in every browser there is a specific uh, context menu when we right click. For example, you know, when I'm clicking, you can see the fresh, save as, print, translate, etc. And what we would want is, we would want to override that. And we click on the calendar background, not the on the event, on the calendar background. And we would want that, you know, we show our own custom context menu. And why would we want to do that? Because we would want that, let's say, you know, this is a calendar and we want the user the ability to create appointments for a particular slot time without you know filling up the time and everything you know so maybe i am a patient and i come in and say i need an appointment for 8 am for dr alex so i can just right click and create add an appointment or oh, and through the code we will write if there is a form which opens for the appointment we would have the state for the time that uh, on which i right click to show the menu and the resource in which i'm under so that is basically what the point of context menu is and we will you know explore it so for um as we have seen in previous uh, one tutorial uh, related to react Bay calendar advanced we can pass custom components for certain things so for event i have passed a custom component here and you can see that you know it's different so you can also pass custom components for other things like time slot so for time slots, we use time slot wrapper. So what we would basically do is we would pass a custom component for the time slot wrapper and then pass an on context menu call back to it. And then basically use prevent default to prevent the action so that the default context menu, which is this doesn't get shown. And then we will basically do something so that we can show the our own context menu. So let's see. Um, so I will say time slot wrapper and then this is a function which has some params so each time slot wrapper has certain props so one prop is children so children is what is rendering right now you know uh, but just the div and then i have will have value so value will have the time string and the resource so resource will basically have the resource id on which i you know right clicked now on with the time slot is present but when you know we would rightly we would get this information as well we would set the state basically so i will say children jsx dot element then value string and then resource is a number because it's an id here i would say return react dot clone element so it, we would basically cl use clone element to clone the children uh, component whatever it is we are not very concerned with it and then pass props to it so i will pass a on context menu prop so here we would get e and first thing we would do you know we would e dot prevent default let me give it e the a type it would be mouse event yeah so now i can use auto completion so now by default let's see what happens i go here i click right click nothing happens why because i've prevented the default behavior using e dot prevent default now the the context menu that the browser shows wouldn't be shown so now i can do my thing so right now there is some code for the context menu here i'm using chakra ui uh, as a library um because i'm us using chakra ui for other stuff uh, in these tutorials that is why i'm using chakra ui menu but you can use any other library the approach would slightly be different based on what you use but you know this tutorial is basically to give you an idea if you are using this library you can you know copy the exact thing so what happens is uh, in chakra ui the list the menu list of the context menu or whatever menu it is gets shown uh, around this menu button right now you know menu button has nothing here and also um is open is false so obviously it's not being shown so what we would want to do is when i right click then using the mouse event i will get the 
client x and client y position so whenever i would right click i would get the x and y coordinates of wherever i right clicked so i will set it set uh, it in a state set that information in a state and then i will use this to move this menu button to that particular position and then i will set the is open to true so that way this menu would be displayed on that particular position let's see how i you know what i mean so let me make some states so i'll say const x position set x position is equal to use state and it's a string and you'll let me copy it for the y position so i can say y position set y position so here i would set the x position i will say e dot client x so this is the x coordinate for that and i would say here e dot client y and that would be the coordinates for x and y and then i would basically set its styles so i would say no set its styles by the menu button styles because the uh, that is you know where the menu list would be rendered around this button so i will say x position and and y position style is equal and and here as well and style i will give it a position fixed as the index of an arbitrary big number and then a top of y position and a left of x position let me also give it a um, z index of 10 so that it uh, gets rendered above the calendar because the calendar is also using some uh, z indexes yeah and now this context when should be rendered now it won't do a thing but you know it should be rendered so now when i right click I am right clicking and nothing is happening. Why? Hmm. Let me see. Um, yeah, I am not setting is a point to true here. So I need to do that as well. So now I'm here. I right click. And now you can see the context menu in action. Pretty cool. Um, but what we would want is uh, we would want the context menu to mean something that is let's say this is the new partner button right so i would want that when i click on it for now for this tutorial i get shown an alert using the alert function in javascript and in that alert the time for that particular slot and the resource under which the slot is present should be shown and we can you know grab this information from here because value is the time string and resource is the resource id so i can say const resource id set resource id is equal to use state let me set its type number and then uh, the other thing would be selected time so i can say selected time set selected time and that would be a string so let me select set the time here so i'll say value and here i would say set resource id to resource cool so now i can basically you know say here on click it should show an alert with the following message that you have selected let me um, put the string in moment so that we can parse it um, format let's it for the resource and then basically we have a resources um, array already which we would have and now we've got an id so let me loop through it to get the particular resource name so i can say resources dot find resource resource dot id is equal to resource id dot 
title cool so now i'm here i right click and i click on new appointment then it shows that you have selected um 8 30 is the time for this particular slot and the resource is dr alex which is true now i click on um now this is the same slot this is actually a 9 a.m slot i click on it it says that that time now let me click on some other slot let's say here I click on new appointment we can see that it's the 11 30 a.m slot and you know um, it, uh, resource is still dr alex i click on ok here i right click i click on new appointment it says that the time slot is 9 which we can see and the resource is dr john so this is how you can basically uh, you know right on not doing anything but you can basically when clicked on new appointment or click on any option you can you know show a form for a new appointment and you know pre-populate the fields for the resource and uh, time so that you know the process becomes even more smoother instead of you have to you know go there and manually add these fields so also one last thing um you have to add a z index one here otherwise it wouldn't work for now so yeah uh, because the time slot wrapper by default is uh, i don't know it's below something uh, there is some uh, you know positioning fault or bug here in uh, react calendar so in order for it to work you have to set the uh, time rbc time slot as uh, the index to one and that is when it will work so yeah, this was the tutorial for showing a context when you're like calendar. I'm sure you enjoyed it. If you didn't get anything, you can comment down below and I will try to, you know, clear up the confusion. Uh, if you have any further requests for like calendar or any tutorial related to web development, I can also make that. As always, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.